I've spoken to several activists on the scene in Sitra. There was confusion earlier in the day as to whether or not the funeral of Ali Jawad al-Sheikh would actually take place today. A lot of questions as to whether the body of the boy would be released by the government back into the hands of the family. Activists were wondering if the family were going to have to sign some sort of waiver or release form, uh, not uh, blaming the government. Uh, there were a lot of questions about that. Activists now saying they've spoken with the family. The family has confirmed to them that the body of the boy was released back into their custody, that the body of the boy is now being washed in accordance with Islamic burial ritual, uh, and that once it has been washed and cleansed that it will then uh, proceed in a procession to the graveyard. Now, one of the more interesting aspects of this story is, is how quickly the Bahraini government really jumped into action here to try to show they were dealing with this. Um, almost as soon as we started seeing a lot of tweets about this and a lot of activity from activists in Bahrain, you saw the Bahraini government issuing a reward for any details about the killing of this boy. You saw the Bahraini government uh, saying that they were going to wait until a further uh, investigation revealed exactly the details of exactly what happened to this boy. Uh, there's a lot of concern in Bahrain that this could spark a lot of anger today because of what happened to the boy and cause more unrest. Yeah, Max? How volatile is the situation in Mohammed? How likely is this to blow up into something much bigger? Well, Max, we've already seen that there, are, there were clashes early this morning in Bahrain because of what happened to the boy. A lot of people there uh, accusing the police of having uh, fired that tear gas canister that they say killed the boy. That's what eyewitnesses are saying. Uh, the family saying that as well. Today, it does seem like it is volatile. I spoke to one activist, Zainab al-Khawaja, who's on the scene there in Sitra. Uh, she's saying there are thousands of people lining the streets there close to the graveyard, close to where the body of the boy is now being held, that there are chants right now, people chanting for the fall of the regime, down with the king, that it's really stoking a lot of anti-government anger that has been there and been in Bahrain for a while. Now, Sitra is a town, as you said, southwest of the capital, where there have been protests, a lot of protests the last few months, even after Pearl Roundabout was cleared in mid-March of the protests that were going on there. Protests have consistently been happening there, but today the activists that I spoke with say that they're seeing a much higher level of anger. They say they think it's because of the boy's age, because he was such a young victim. They're calling this boy a martyr, and they're very concerned that this could get more volatile in the hours to come.